I opened my window and to check the weather and I looked in the backyard and there was this big huge hall. Well, there's no white rabbit and no Alice in sight. I'm Janella Massa in Scarborough, where a family's trying to figure out how this massive hole appeared in their backyard and what they should be doing about it. Like nobody seems to care. It's like they keep saying it's your problem. Okay, it's my problem. I will fix it, but I need to know what that thing is. Layla Halabi says she's been trying to get a straight answer I'm for months that. about how to deal with this big problem that suddenly appeared in her backyard. My biggest concern is uh, my dad plants the yard. That he comes here all the time, and we have my nephews and nieces that come here, and we have a lot of pets running around in the area that go back and forth. Hence, why I put that big thing to cover it so nobody will fall in it. The family has owned their Scarborough home for nearly 30 years, and they don't know what prompted this hole to suddenly appear Christmas Day. I looked at it, it was really down. deep. As far as we could go, it was about 15 feet. That's you said 15 yeah. feet? Yeah. 15 feet, that's three of me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> three Janellas. <laughs> Halabi says she called the city of Toronto, wondering if the opening might be connected to old infrastructure beneath her property, and if it would be safe to fill it. They sent a worker, but no one was home when they arrived. And when I called them, he just said, oh, I looked at it, and I don't know what it is, but it's not a city problem. It's your problem. It's a private issue. You have to get a contractor, and you have to fix it. So she did, but the contractor cautioned against filling the hole, worrying it might cause flooding to her house. He said in his 60 years experience, he never seen anything like it. And he said he doesn't know what it is. For him to find out what it is, he has to get, dig up this whole yard. Right. Okay, we're going in. We decided to get to the bottom of this mystery. We called the city's water department ourselves and they said they'd look into it. We then reached out to a plumbing expert. We can take a look, it's right over here. And finally, it seemed someone had an answer. It's an old water well. There had to be a lid that collapsed, probably made out of some wood that over the years just disintegrated and, and collapsed. Good news for Halabi's family, who can finally get back to enjoying their backyard. He said it's fixable, but uh, money-wise, it's going to be very expensive. I'm just shocked that the water department, even he was shocked, that they couldn't figure out what that was. And Mr. Reuter says the cost of filling this well depends on the size and the depth, but it could run the family thousands of dollars. And Layla reached out to us with this story. If you have an issue you'd like us to look into, here are all the ways you can reach us.